And then once you have the trial and error stage is done, you're happy with the end result. You've found a rack that works for you. The configurations of everything works for you. You've normalized it to negative three. You've tested it. It sounds great. It passes noise floor standard for ACX. Once you have a rack that works for you, then you're going to come up to this in Adobe Audition. You're going to come up to this little button here, save effects rack as a preset. And then you're going to name it whatever you want to name it. You know, Angela's Awesome Rack or Angela's, you know, Audiobook, whatever, or whatever your name is, or Effects Rack 1, whatever you want to name it, right? And then once you save that, it'll be in your preset list. And I have several. I have, I do a lot of like AI computer characters. So I have an AI computer, you know, effects rack that makes me sound like a, <clears throat> like a robot, right? I have one for 